Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to use the Vector Interpolate to node, also known as the VInterp to node. Let's get started. So here we are in the level blueprint, and to get the Vector Interpolate to node, we just right click and type VInterp to. We want to choose this one. So this is a math function, and it has four inputs and one output. The first input is the current vector, then we have the target vector, we have the delta time, which will be connected to the delta seconds of the event tick, and lastly we have the interpolation speed. So what we are going to do today is to make this sphere move to this target point smoothly. So first let's get these two references into the level blueprint. So in the world outliner, we want to select the sphere and the target point, then drag it into the level blueprint. So now we have these two references. Now from the sphere reference, we want to drag out and we want to type set actor location. And we want to choose this one. Now connect it to the event tick. And now we need to get the sphere's location and the target point's location. Now drag out of the sphere reference and type get location and we want to get its actor location. Next for the target point we want to do the same thing. So now we want to connect these vectors into the vinterp to node. So the current vector will be the sphere's current location, the target vector will be the target point's location, and the delta time we will connect it to delta seconds from the event tick. Lastly, change the interpolation speed to 0.5. And now connect the return value to the new location. So now if you go and play the level, you will see the sphere smoothly moves to the target point. That's pretty good. And we can also adjust the speed in the VInterp to node. So this is how you can smoothly move an actor using the Vector Interpolation node. Now you can also use this node to smoothly change an actor's size. So to do that, we're just going to copy these two references and we're going to paste them around here. And we also need to get the Vector Interpolation node, so we'll just type VInterp in chop to node and from the sphere reference drag out of it and you want to type in set actor scale 3d you want to choose this one now connect it to the previous node and now we want to drag out of the sphere reference get its actor scale 3d and we also want to get the target point scale as well So now for the current input, we want to connect the sphere's current scale. For the target vector, we want to connect the target scale. For delta time, just connect the delta seconds. And we'll set the interpolation speed to 0.5. Now connect the return value to the new scale 3D. So now go back to the viewport. Make sure the target point scale is bigger than the sphere, so we'll set it to 3. Now when we play, you can see the sphere smoothly changes its size and its location. So this is how you use the VInterp to node. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you have any suggestions on future tutorials I should make, please comment as well. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And let's see if we can hit 50 likes. See you soon!